and hello YouTube, this is JS and I'm Smart, and I'm here on a brand new video for tutorials with JS. In today's tutorial, we're taking a look at Adobe After Effects as well as Adobe Premiere Pro and show you how you can actually download and create and edit and implement some very easy lower thirds into your videos. Now, if you don't know what a lower third is, then you probably never, well, you probably have seen one, but you've never known what the term is actually called. At the start of this video, I always have a lower third here. As you can see, this is the uh, gaming video on my gaming channel. And as you can see, the lower third at the bottom here basically flows in, and then it flows out like that. As you can see, it goes out. That's basically a lower third. If you don't want to have a basic graphic like that, you can actually get some pretty cool elegant and more dynamic graphics that look a bit more flashier if you don't know how to create them you can find them very easily online and that's what i'm going to show you how to do today so all you have to do really is just type in google free lower third templates and you could type in something relevant like that if you want to type in after effects templates or lower third after effects templates they're all pretty much going to bring you to the same place now there are several websites that offer many different templates many different lower third templates as you can see here uh, here's one and a lot of these websites allow you to download them for free pretty cool look at that, that looks really awesome so uh, there are some websites where you have to pay for it and you can sign up for a monthly uh, plan but Personally, I don't think it's really necessary because look, you can get a lot of these for free just so. It's not it's not really necessary to pay a monthly fee if you can get them for free. Uh, but a lot of different websites that offer these and all you have to do is download them and they actually give you an After Effects project file. And with that After Effects project file, you can then edit the text in these lower thirds. So for example, this one right here, if I wanted to use this one, uh, as you can see, it gives you a little preview want to preview it that looks pretty awesome looks a bit more elegant looks a bit more flashier and more professional so if you wanted to get this all you have to do is find the download button sometimes it may ask you to log in sometimes it may ask you to make a free account but a lot of these templates are free to look for them and once you find them you can download them and they should download as a WinRAR or as a uh, zip file so if you have WinRAR, you can easily unzip them. If you have 7-zip, you can unzip them. You can also unzip them if you just have uh, with the Windows operating system. So we have a download right here. We're going to go ahead and find it in our folder. Once you have downloaded your file, you know where your file is. You can go ahead and right-click it. We can extract it here. If you want to extract it in a folder, you can. And as you can see here in this folder, they actually give you an After Effects project file. We're going to open up the After Effects project file. It's going to open up an After Effects. You may get some warnings. Just go ahead and press OK on those. It should be OK. And as you can see, here is the After Effects project file. Several compositions here. You can go in and edit these texts even. Uh, some of these may be confusing. You may have to look around a bit and find the correct composition to edit them. If you're not very good at After Effects, uh, just double click some of these compositions here. You know it's a composition if it has uh, this little uh, colorful type of icon here you can double click those you can go into some of these compositions and usually you can edit these text layers very easily so if I wanted to you know add something here saying my name is cool and we go back here you can see changes so then we can go over here to the subtext we can change this this is an awesome lower third as you can see changes are made in this composition and it has a nice little animation as well so this is a great way to learn also how to make lower thirds because you can see how people make their lower thirds and you know you can see how it's actually created you can see what elements they use what type of effects they use and you can pretty much copy them sort of or take their techniques to make your own lower thirds you can also change some of these colors if you wanted to change some of these circles uh, as you can see, there's different, there's different compositions for different things that you can do to change colors, to change text and stuff like that. Sometimes they will also give you a, a tutorial video or sometimes they'll give you a text file with some steps on how to change these things. So very cool. And if you want to actually add this to a video in Premiere Pro, uh, you don't want to export this. You can export, but you have to do a bunch of things to actually get it to work. So instead of exporting it, instead of uh, rendering this actually, what you can do is go to File, and we're just gonna go ahead and save it. And we'll just save over it. 
no need to save it as a, something new. So we'll save over it. We can close this then. We can go into Premiere Pro and now you're gonna go and import it. So here's our file. Here's the After Effects project file. You can import After Effects project files into Premiere Pro. All you have to do then is obviously select the composition though. So once this loads, be sure that you're selecting the proper composition, the correct one. So the correct composition for this one is under Final Comps and Lower Third Final. Press OK. We're going to import that composition. You may get another warning as you're going to press OK on it. And here's the composition. When you drag your composition over the video here, we don't need the audio. You'll see that it actually, let's see, here it goes. It renders through. So pretty cool. Let's make this a bit bigger so you can see. As you can see, it comes in. All the animations go, your text is there. And you can obviously you know, change the duration of it, but you can right click, uh, change the speed, speed and duration if you wanted to. Uh, but then again, you can make all those changes in After Effects as well. As you can see, it goes out. So a really cool way of getting some neat lower thirds that you may not have the creativity to make yourself. Or you may not know how to make yourself, but you still want to use them. You can just download some templates and it makes it a bit easier to to actually add some really elegant looking, professional looking lower thirds into your video. It's also very easy to edit in After Effects. All you gotta do is change the text. So hopefully you enjoyed the video, hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, it was kind of a short tutorial, but I think it's a really cool tutorial that can help a lot of people out, help me out. So if you're interested in more tutorials on After Effects Premiere Pro, go ahead and subscribe if you like this video. Go and leave a like if you found it helpful. If you have any other questions, any problems you run into, go and leave a comment down below. Any questions, comments, leave them down below down there, answer any questions you have. And if you want to check out more tutorials on the channel regarding After Effects Premiere Pro, audition, Photoshop, design work, video editing, audio editing, lots of cool tutorials around software on a channel, go ahead and subscribe. If you want to donate a dollar to my Patreon page, you can do so as well. Click the card on the top right corner of the screen or bring it to the page. Page. And if you want to check out my gaming channel, the vlogging channel, advice channel, music channel, links are in the description as well as on the end screen. That's pretty much it, guys. Thank you for watching, as always. And this is GS Man Smart. I'll be back soon. You think? Don't go anywhere. <laughs>